Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. As the tents really begin to heat up, many of us are getting a break from the heat by taking in a summer blockbuster or two. Yeah, this week the new Planet of the Apes movies will be in theaters, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is coming in just a few weeks. Each of those have talking animals, but before there were talkies at all, there was the theater pipe organ and the talented person playing it. I know where you're going with this, Trish. The Circle Cinema unveils the return of their newly refurbished 1928 Robert Morton Theater Pipe Organ this week. They sure do, and it's all thanks to the guys at the Sooner State Chapter of the American Theater Organ Society. I've had a lifetime interest in theater organs. It all started back in 1935 when I was four years old and my brother took me down to the Ritz Theater here in Tulsa to hear the organ. Well, the sound was so beautiful that I just fell in love with it when I was just a small child. This pipe organ was installed in this theater in uh, the fall of 1928. And it was here until about 1931. And of course, the talkie movies came out in 1929. So after that, the organ was hardly used. And they donated the organ to the Scottish Rite Shrine. And then in about 03 or 04, the uh, Circle Restoration project began. They bought it and I installed it together with volunteers and we've been working on the installation since September of uh, 2013. This particular organ when it was installed in 1928 was the two manual which you see here in the console and it only had four ranks of pipes. We've increased the number of pipes so that we now have seven ranks or families of sounds, plus the other sounds that you've heard, the yoga horn and uh, things that are sound effects for the silent movies. These particular items, which are in this horseshoe arrangement, are called stops. And they're actually what the organist used to create the moods, the colors of the music. Think of it actually as an artist's palette, where he or her playing the organ can blend the tonal colors to create the mood. It's been a lot of fun to be involved, uh, the hands-on experience from the ground up uh, installing this organ. I do not play the organ, but I got interested in it because I'm an engineer and is a, it is an outstanding electromechanical pneumatic device. It has a lot of uh, levers and uh, electronics, a marriage of a lot of different things and has uh, both uh, vintage components and uh, we've had to install some modern electronics in it to give it the full capabilities of, of organs in today. This project came along and uh, I volunteered as others did uh, to join Phil in putting this together. This is my first experience in uh, having the opportunity to be part of a complete uh, restoration and installation. And it's a very uh, emotional experience. The first time that we uh, applied wind and we actually uh, tried the keyboard, Phil was at the uh, keyboard, and uh, we actually got sound. Even though the pipes needed to be tuned, why, uh, it was a wondrous sound. It's amazing to see the reaction, of course, the older folks that remember them or uh, bring back memories. But the youngsters that come out today, uh, they get very excited because uh, they're in, they get involved in the music. Uh, it gives them an attachment to the film. It's a very satisfying and powerful experience to be able to sit here and control all of that beautiful music which comes from the organ lost back behind the screen. It's really a thrill.